Hi there! Today we're going to make this super cute planner clip for your planner. It's uh, got a dipped effect to it. And as a bonus, we're going to dip some words like I have on this scrapbook page. So stay tuned. <laughs> Hi there, it's Kara from The Hooting Pirate, and today I'm going to get a little bit messy. Uh, I'm not the best person to go to for multimedia. I think I'm going to send you off to Terry Kosterman. She is incredible. So if you want to learn anything about mul multimedia, go there. Go to her channel. I'll link it below. Um, but I'm going to try a little bit of uh, dipping. So it's really trendy now in homewares and stuff and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little clip for my planner with one of these butterflies but I also want to do a few words. I'm going to do a scrapbook page so I'm going to do everything all at once. Um, we're not actually going to dip, it's sort of like a, a faux dipping effect. Uh, we're going to use washi, sort of like a masking tape sort of thing. But I want to say something about washi first because some washi, no, washi's, they're stickies, aren't they? are stickies. The stickiness, I guess, is not all the same. So I would, unless you want to like rip off the design off of your whatever you're going to paint, I would test it on like a piece of paper to see if it comes off. And this one comes off really nice. It sticks, but it doesn't, um, it doesn't pull it off. This one, I think. That one's not too bad, but it kind of pulled a little of the fibers off. So another tip of what you want, if you have one that's sticky sticky, just put it on your skin and then um, then use that. It takes some of the sticky off and it works a little bit better. Uh, find maybe um, a washi that you've got in a pack that you, you know, you liked five of the six and that sixth one you didn't really like. Use that one for this sort of thing. Or if you have one that you really, really like, but you have a big thick roll of it, you can use that one just because it makes you happy. Um, I'm going to use this one. I want to actually take this off because it's not sticky anymore because I've been playing with it so much. Uh, so what I want to do, I think I might want to do family. I want to do dream. I like the dream. I think what I'll do is just go straight across with this one. Uh, maybe just a little. Hmm, how much? I don't want to go halfway. I think maybe I'll go about a third of the way up the word. And then what I want to do is family, and I want to put this one on sort of an angle, I think. So, like as if it was dipped sideways. So we'll try that one. Uh, and then we'll do the butterflies in a second. So a lot of the dipping that I've seen is a lot of pastel colors. And I don't really have a lot of pastel, I don't have a lot of paint, period. But like, I had this bright blue stuff. So what I did was just added some white, and I got this nice... Um, Pastel blue. Oh, my paintbrush is too hard. I let that sit too long. My kids are playing baseball and they want me to come watch, so <laughs> my paint got a little dry. So we'll use this one. No big deal. And I'm just painting it. Like, uh, <laughs> it's not hard. But like I said, I am not very good at multimedia. I think it's just more laziness than anything. I don't like to um, clean up after myself, hence the dried out brush. <laughs> Anyway, I think I might need two coats of this, but I won't I won't bore you by making you watch me paint this twice. I'll just do it the one time and then I'll do the dream and then I'll do it um, and I'll show you the finished finished product when it's all done. Okay, I'm gonna pull this off. Just, are they stuck together? No. Sometimes I stick um, sticker packs together because uh, this is sort of it allows me to keep them together so I don't lose like especially with alphas I don't lose like the second half of the alphas so a lot and they'll just get mixed up with all the other sheets all right it's not very smooth so it doesn't it's right now you can see like this the marks from the brush so it doesn't look very dippy but once I think I get another layer or two on there, it should be it should be fine. So I'll do that. I'll let that dry. Next, we're going to do some butterflies. Now, I'm not going to do the butterflies in blue because it wouldn't really match. Hang on. I need, I need a new paintbrush. Well, that one's not very good. Hold on. There. Okay. So I do have some white here. So what I'm going to do is just, I think I'm going to go on an angle again. Now, these ones are really cool. These are from uh, Jen Hadfield. And they've got like two layers to them. So you can bend this top layer up. You can bend them both up actually. They're really cool. So I'm going to make a clip out of that 
in just a second. Well, not in a second. It has to dry first. So let's do this little dude. I don't want to cover up too much of it because they're really pretty, but I do want to have that little dip effect. Okay. Again, I'm going to need to do more than one layer of paint. Coat? See, I don't even know how. I don't even know what it's called. Layer of paint? Coat of paint? I guess it's coat. And hmm. let's do a few of these. We'll do that. Let's do a lot of paint on this one. Hmm? What do you think? This guy can just have a little bit. I like this big one. We'll just put a little bit on that one too, maybe. And I don't know if I have enough on this. No, it's too short. Hold on. There. All right. Where's my white paintbrush? All right, again, I don't think I'm going to make you watch me do this. So I'm going to paint all these, do the second coats and everything, and then I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Everything's painted, and now it's uh, showtime. We'll see how this worked. So I put three coats of the blue, and I think two coats of white. And on this one, I just put a really thin coat of white to see, like, see how thick this is. Um, so you can sort of see the design of the butterfly through it. I want to see how that that looks good. Just want to try it out. All right, let's try. Um, let's see. Let's see how this looks. Oh, oh, I think I like it even more than I thought I would. Oh, that looks so cool. I think it'll look. Oh, maybe I'll do that. It'll look even better without the smears of blue on the backing. Let's just pull it off and see how that looks. Oh, okay, it's a little bit globby, so I think I might take a craft knife to that, but other than that, let's show it on the white background. Oh, it's really fun. I love it. I love it. Okay. I'm just going to put that back on there. And now let's try Dream. I'll probably need to take a craft knife to this one as well. What do you think? I like it. I really like it, actually. I think it turned out better than I was expecting, which is always fun. Okay, now the butterflies. And I did get a little paint on the second bottom layer. I think if I just scratch off with my nail, I'm hoping that it'll come off. That looks really cool. I like this one. I like them with a little more paint. Oops, that guy came off. Oh no, I like that one with a little bit of paint too. Maybe it's because it went up on this wing that I like it less. All right, let's try this um, this one with just the little scat of paint. Oh, that looks neat. I like that you can see through. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> These look really fun. Oh, I love it, I love it. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make, I think I'll take this guy, yeah, this guy, and I'm going to make him into a planner clip. So, now, it's got a foam, I was going to say foam dot, but it's like a rectangle. And there's one in between the two layers. I think I actually painted these together. No, that's not too bad, actually. Um, so there's two pieces of foam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this guy off because, oh, it's taking like the acrylic layer off, um, the protective thing. Um, because I can't get, this won't stick to anything. Um... Yeah, because the foam thing would be right in the middle. I could leave it, actually, to be honest, and then I'd be able to stick something on the other side. So I I do different things, because I don't like having the clip just naked on the back. I like to cover it up. This one actually doesn't look too bad. Sometimes I'll put a similar image. Sometimes I have the exact thing. Like, I have two of the same thing, and I can put it on the back. But this one, I'm worried that you're going to be able to see the white. And if I put... I could do that but it's kind of a waste of the die cut because you can't really see it. I could just use the white because it's not that bad. I don't know. And then the other option, let me just get this off first and then I'll pick it up. Um, but this one's really small. This would work better with like a smaller paper clip just to cover it up. 
and it's the same color pink. If I had a bigger enamel dot, that might work, but um, I think I have to get, I'll just show you what it would look like. Okay, if I take like a small guy, oh, if I put it on right side up, it might help, and then I cover it up with this. I don't want to take the foam guy off because in case I use it later. Yeah, see, so that really covers up the the bit of um, clip and makes it look more polished, I guess. But we, I think I'm going to use this one. So what I usually do is use hot glue and I'll glue that on, put a little glob of glue in the middle to sort of raise it up, and then I stick this on. So I think I'll stick it on this way. Um, it's really up to you how you like to do it. Is this hot yet? Yes. Okay, let's go to it. So I'm just going to put some here. I don't want to get too, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to cover it up, but I don't like to go too far outside of where the clip will be, just so that it's neater. And where the clip ends, I like to have it just at the edge of whatever um, my design is, my clip. Because if I have it up too far, then the clip won't, this part of the clip won't open enough. It'll go on one page of paper and sometimes it'll like warp the page. But if I have it like just at the limit or even a little bit lower, then I can open the clip and actually it's more functional that way. I can put more sheets in between and stuff. Okay, I'm just going to fill in the middle and then just a little bit on the clip. I'm not going to go all the way to the edge because then I can use the butterfly. I can maybe bend his wings and stuff. And I'm just going to cover up that big glue mess. Ow, that's hot. <laughs> and I have strings. Oh, and that's coming apart. Ow! I've got a lot of strings. Anyway. There's the finished product. Let me move this stuff from underneath so you can see what it looks like. Oh, I love it. Okay, there's your DIY dipped clip. If you like this, um, I do videos every week, so don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or anything that you want to say. What's your favorite type of clip? Have you ever tried dipping with paint before? Either in your planner or in your home. And uh, otherwise, have a fantastic day and happy planning.